Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you about callus culture. So uh, I'm going to explain to you about the properties of the callus, the definition of the callus, you know, the procedure of the callus and the protocol which is involved in this callus culture technique and even the notes will also be provided for you. Okay, so before entering into this topic of callus culture, I recommend you to watch my previous video of plant tissue culture technique because it is a basic type of technique which is involved in each and every type of culture in because in that video i explained you about the preparation of the culture medium and even the surface sterilization method inoculation incubation each and everything i explained in that uh, video of plant tissue culture technique the link will be given in the description box so firstly check out that video and then come to this callus culture technique so now actually what is meant by callus Callus is an unspecialized, unorganized mass of cells which are produced when explants are cultured on the particular nutrient medium which consists of plant growth regulators. And even these plant growth regulators are also called as plant growth hormones. Like if you see auxins, cytokinins and gibberlins, all of these are called as plant growth regulators. Right? And this nutrient medium is nothing but which consists of these plant growth regulators. Along with these plant growth regulators, it also consists of some type of nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, you know, boron. There are many type of nutrients which I explained in my plant tissue culture technique video. So firstly, watch that video so that you can understand what is meant by this nutrient medium. Okay? So uh, how, what is the main function of this nutrient medium basically? So here we are going to choose an explant. Because it is a common type of uh, method, common type of step which is involved in each and every type of culture technique. That's nothing but the selection of the explant. So you are going to select an explant and you are going to place that explant in this nutrient medium. And what I have said to you, this nutrient medium consists of this plant growth regulators or plant growth hormones and even many type of nutrients. Right? And now this uh, nutrient medium will supply that nutrients to that explant which has been uh, placed in this nutrient medium. Right? And once that explant will absorb the nutrients which are present in the nutrient medium then will get developed into the callus right in that way the callus culture technique will be involved and this is a small procedure which i explained you so now let us learn, uh, learn now let us learn about the total big procedure of this callus culture technique so before entering into that you have to know about the callus you know callus will be of two types like compact callus and you know friable callus so actually what is meant by compact callus it shows densely aggregated cells and friable callus is nothing but it shows loosely associated cells and the callus becomes soft and breaks easily as if you see as if you see in these pictures you can understand the total definition of this compact callus as well as the friable callus so now let us learn about the procedure i mean the protocol which is involved in this callus culture technique so now let us learn about the procedure which is involved in this callus culture technique. So firstly you are going to choose a carrot. I have chosen here carrot only and you can choose any other vegetable or any other uh, you know like thing uh, like flower like thing okay. So here for my better convenience of explanation I have chosen carrot and now here we know that this carrot will grow in the, in the soil region right. So after removing this carrot what you are going to do? You are going to wash this carrot such that the dust particles as well as the soil particles which are present on the surface of this carrot will be removed right and this is the first step which you are going to do and coming to the second step what you are going to do and you are going to dip this carrot into a 5% tea pot solution for 10 minutes you are going to dip this carrot solution so, so sorry this carrot into the 5% tea pot solution for 10 minutes right so why you are going to dip it in 5% tea pot solution for the removal of bacteria but 100% bacteria will not get removed remember okay so what you are going to do for removal of 100% bacteria let us see so now here what you are going to do now you are going to cut the carrot here the carrot has been properly washed and it is uh, free from bacteria somewhat it is free from bacteria okay so now we are going to cut that carrot with the help of a cutter here you are going to cut the carrot here in these regions and you are going to make a uh, you know well developed parts of the pieces of this carrot like thing okay not only one pieces i have uh, you should, i have to draw here many pieces but for my better convenience i have drawn only one circular pieces and there will be many circular pieces which will be formed after the cutting of this a carrot by a help of a cutter right circular pieces will be uh, you know will be obtained and now what you are going to do with the circular pieces you are going to wash it so firstly you are going to take a beaker like thing and in that beaker you are going to add distilled water and now in this distilled water what you are going to do here we are for here we have formed the circular pieces by cutting of this carrot right and these circular pieces will be added in this distilled water and now what you are going to do we are going to wash this explant in this distilled water and now these explant pieces will be removed will be removed and will get transferred into the another another what we say another beaker like thing and make sure in that beaker it consists of the sodium hypochlorite solution okay and in that soap sodium hypochlorite solution you are going to transfer this explant which is present in the distilled water because here 
the sodium hypochlorite solution plays a major and vital role so what is a major role which is placed in the sodium hypochlorite solution this sodium hypochlorite solution will remove the total bacteria the minor bacteria and the small particles of bacteria which is present on the surface of the explant pieces so here t pulse solution 10% of t pulse solution will remove only some content of bacteria only up to 75% of the bacteria but here in the sodium hypochlorite solution it removes total 100% of the bacteria such that this explant pieces will be pure in form or else will be free from bacteria right and now what you are going to do in the next step so here the explant pieces will be free from bacteria right so that is first you are going to take a petri dish and in that petri dish you are going to place a filter paper and of these explant pieces uh, which is free from the sodium hypochlorite solution will get uh, you know it should be added in this filter paper it should be placed in this filter paper and before yeah before uh, before placing this explant pieces in this filter paper of the petri dish what you are going to do is that you are going to wash these explant pieces again such that the sodium hypochlorite solution molecules which are present on that explant pieces will be removed right you are going to wash it and after washing what you are going to do that explants you are going to place it in a petri dish which consists of the filter paper okay so now in the next step what you are going to do so before entering into the next step you have to know about the structure of this explant normally you know here this will be the structure of the explant basically so in this explant structure you can know here this is a part of a cambium this middle part the larger part is also is called as a cambium and here uh, above about that i mean beside that part is called as a xylem and the outer part is said to be as phloem and the outer part is said to be as cortex okay so the first region is called as a cortex and the second region is called as a phloem and the third region is called as a xylem and the middle region the inner part is called as a cambium right and now what you are going to do and this will be called as a larger explant basically you know there will be two type of explant where the small explant and the large explant and that small explant will be isolated from the large explant only how let us see here so this will be your larger explant okay this will be your larger explant and the proper structure i have drawn there not here so here this middle region is known as cambium which i have said you here right this green color one which i have drawn is known as cambium and this cambium should be extracted or else should be isolated from this larger explant so this will be your larger explant and from that larger explant you are going to cut the middle region that cambium region and that cambium region is called as a cambium explant or else short explant this is a larger explant this is a shorter explant and you know instead of calling that shorter explant you can call it as a cambium explant this cambium plays a major and vital role in this callus culture right so in this way you are going to extract this smaller explant or as a cambium explant okay so now what you are going to do this cambium explant which has been extracted so before uh, before uh, you know you are going to extract the cambium explant it's okay and in the next step what you are going to do is that you are going to take a test tube and in the test tube you are going to add the culture medium or as a nutrient medium i have said you that this new this purple color one which i have drawn is known as nutrient medium so i have said you that this nutrient medium is consists of this plant growth regulators and even the nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus boron and each and everything you know carbon sources like glucose and each and everything will be present in that nutrient medium okay so in that way you have to prepare that nutrient medium and even there is a presence of the nutrient medium which will be available in the market like ms medium you know murashi jans cook medium so that medium you can uh, add in this test tube so after adding that medium in the test tube then what you are going to do now you are going to add the cambium explant so this is a cambium explant which has been extracted from the larger explant right so now we are going to add this cambium explant into this culture medium right or or the nutrient medium so now what you are going to do immediately immediately you are going to close this test tube with the cotton so why you are going to close this test tube with the cotton because to prevent the entry of harmful pathogenic bacteria into the test tube we know that the environment consists of uh, you know positive bacteria as well as the negative bacteria and the pathogenic bacteria right so to prevent the entry of the pathogenic bacteria into the test tube you are going to close this test tube with the help of a cotton okay so now here you are you have done this type of set and in the next type what in the, you know in the next step what you are going to do you are not going to do anything because uh, the callus will be developed by itself here this explant will get developed into the callus and this process is called as a inoculation and that inoculation should be done for 25 degrees celsius for 6 to 8 weeks and even at the 6th week itself you can see the formation of the or the initiation of the formation of the callus so what is meant by callus callus is nothing but here for, for normally here this explant we are going to place it right so when you are going to inoculate it then this explant will get divided into a you know cell division occurs in this explants so once the cell division occur in this explant then immediately it forms a mass of cells you know daughter you know different type of cells will be formed by the cell division right and that cell division each and every cell individual cells will get 
aggregated with each other to form a callus you know it is form it is also called as a mass of cells is called as a callus right you heard the definition at the hope and this mass of cells is called as a callus how this mass of cells will be formed by the cell division of the explant so in this way the formation of the callus occur and now let us see about the protocol which is involved in this callus culture technique so this protocol which i'm going to explain you will be in the form of a flowchart so in the first step what you are going to do students selection of the fresh tap root of carrot so here carrot is my choice you can select any other type of explant okay so the tap root is dipped into 5% of tea pulp solution for 10 minutes and in the next step piece of tap root of carrot will be cut and again it will be washed in the presence of the water and now that uh, you know the tap root or also you know carrot will be surface sterilized you know the pieces which as we have done on that carrot will be cut into small pieces right and that small pieces will be done uh, surface sterilization what is mean by surface sterilization the removal of the bacteria which is present on the surface of the explant will be removed by the process of the surface sterilization and the surface sterilization will be done by sodium hypochlorite solution right and now the carrot will be removed from that sodium hypochlorite solution you know the carrot pieces will be removed from that sodium hypochlorite solution and now we are going to wash it again to remove that uh, sodium hypochlorite solution molecules right and now we are going to transfer that pieces into the petri dish so before transferring it to that pieces what you are going to do you are going to cut the or you know you are going to isolate the cambium so that cambium will get transferred into the petri dish and now we are going to transfer that uh, you know what we say this explant the smaller explant or the cambium explant will get transferred into the sterile nutrient medium which is present in the test tube and now we are going to inoculate it for 25 degrees celsius for 6 to 8 weeks and at the 6 week itself uh, you can see the formation of a callus by the cell division process and finally the there will be a formation of a callus so this will be the protocol or as a flowchart which is involved in the technique of the callus culture okay so now let us learn about the properties of the callus so to learn about this properties of callus it often comes from shoot in early culturing it can be maintained indefinitely no photosynthesis i mean the photosynthesis process doesn't occur in this callus why because this callus development occurs in the dark conditions dark conditions is nothing but there is no presence of the light as we know that the photosynthesis process occurs only in the presence of the light right but here this callus culture will get developed only in the dark conditions so the photosynthesis process also doesn't occur okay so it can be used to isolate single cells with with stem like properties Single cells, how we can isolate the single cells because firstly you are going to remove that callus from that culture medium and now we know that what is mean by callus actually I have said you group of cells or aggregation of that cells is called as a callus. So each you know that aggregation of cells will get divided I mean it will get separated to form the single cells okay. And the callus which has been formed doesn't consist of a proper shape, no definite shape. And it is difficult to describe it external physiology. Not only the physiology, even the morphology also it is very difficult to describe because it doesn't consist of a proper shape, right? So this will be about your callus culture technique. And notes for this callus culture technique will be provided in my WhatsApp group. And the invite link of that WhatsApp group will be given in the description box students. And people who are interested for the notes, you can ping me message over there so that I'm going to provide you notes over there. So thank you for watching this video guys. If you like this video, just do like and subscribe. And if you have any doubts regarding this video, you can comment in the comment box or else you can ask, you can also ask doubts in my WhatsApp group or else WhatsApp, you can ping me personally also. Thank you.